Hi everybody, in this video we're going to answer the question can you play modded DayZ servers through NVIDIA's GeForce Now, GeForce Now game streaming service? And the answer to that is yes, of course, otherwise this would be a really very, very short video. If you want to play DayZ on your old crappy laptop um, at the highest graphical settings, then GeForce Now is, uh, is the... Uh, application and the service for you it's absolutely amazing but yeah you can play modded day d service and i'm going to show you how in this video so if you weren't aware of it already with geforce now um you can you can um use it for free and you have a limited account or you can pay i think it's about six bucks a month and that will get you to head to the queue and allow you to play for longer and the cool thing about geforce now is that you play the games you own through steam and other a few other um, sources as well. Not all the Steam games are compatible, but lots and lots of them are, including Daisy. So what you do is you go to GeForce Now, start subscribing or get the free version, download the client to your laptop, fire it up, um, and remember you can always get the free ver version of Destiny 2 from the from Steam and play that to get kind of get used to it. Get yourself a copy of Daisy cheap from Steam or CD key somewhere like that, and then fire it up. And you'll probably think like this. So this is the Daisy launcher. You're probably familiar with it already. Um, and you'll know that when you go to the servers, if you go to the official servers, you know, for the vanilla ones, you when you click on them, they'll say no mods on them. So there's no mods on this server at all, which is which is cool um, for a vanilla experience. But if you think, oh, you know, I really fancy having a go at something with helicopters. So you'll do a search for, say, expansion, um, because that's got the uh, the helicopters on them. Daisy expansion, and you'll click on that one. And um, so there's ten, there's ten, fifteen mods on this server. Five that I've got, and ten that I haven't. And then if we look at the details, you can see, oh, look at all these mods. So in order to play on this server, you need all these mods. But fear not, um, you you can you can load them up. So. If you click on this little arrow, you'll see find on Steam Workshop. Now, I tend to find that doesn't tend to work. But let's see if it works. Let's just click on it and see what happens. No items matching your search criteria. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't really work. But if you look in the bottom left-hand corner of your screen, you'll have a, a version of Steam that's opened up already. Um, so what, so we, know, we know we need... Let's find something that I might not want that I might want anyway. Um, what we got? No shoe damage. That sounds good. So let's open this up. And then where, where you want to get to is go to the community tab. You want to go to the workshop. And you click on that. And then where it says search for a workshop, we want to find the Daisy one. And then click on that. And then we're in the Daisy workshop. So now we could search for, um, what was it? Uh, shoe damage wasn't it so we search for shoe damage there we go no shoe damage so we would click on that one and then if you scroll down you subscribe to that one as soon as you clicked on that let me get rid of this when you go back to your mods tab here it will appear down here and all you do to load a mod you just tick it and that is now loaded into your local version of DayZ so for that server we looked at before you'd have to subscribe to all of those mods now if we look for example at my uh, test server mod we can see it needs two mods community online tools and community framework so if we go to my mods we don't want trader so we've got community online tools and it's saying you need this other one as well so it's, so it's, it's going to load them both for me so they're both there uh, community online tools relies on community frameworks so it'll load both so now when i go back to servers you'll see where, where it says mods it's now gone green so two mods that i've got loaded i could click join set up dlcs and mods and join if i click that we would be into there um, let's have a look at another one um, so look at dear isle which is a if you're new to Daisy on PC, obviously we've got Chernus, we've got Livonia, but there's there's user created maps, and the famous one is Deer Isle. So if you look at this one, um, it only needs one mod, Deer Deer Isle. So if we go to our mods, we don't want Community Framework, we don't want Community Online Tools, we just want the Deer Isle mod. So we click on that one, 
because I'm already subscribed to it. Go, go back to the server, and I could then set up DLCs, mods, and join, and we would be in. Now, there is one catch, and the catch for playing modded servers, modded DayZ servers through GeForce now is every time you load up your version of DayZ to play it, it um, loads up all the mods that you're subscribed to. And if you're on a slower internet connection or you're subscribed to loads of mods and some of the bigger mods like the texture replacement mods like Winter Chernerous, it can take a while to load them all in. Um, and I think it does them in alphabetical order as well. So if the mod you need is near the bottom, then that can be a bit of a pain. Normally, you see, when you're playing on a local PC, these are all downloaded by Steam anyway, and they're just sitting there ready to go. Um, a cool thing, though, about um, Daisy GeForce now is that you'll always get the latest mods because it's literally downloading the latest ones where sometimes when you play Daisy on your PC lo locally, um, you might not have the the latest mods, and you've got to wait for the down to wait for them to download. But there we go. That, my friends, is how you play Daisy modded servers on GeForce Now. It's really easy. Definitely check it out. Give it a go, and you never know you'll be flying a helicopter around a snowy winter Chernerus before you know it. If you've got any other questions, put them in the comments box down below. If you've enjoyed the video, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe, and I'll see you again soon.